Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help. Hmm. Right. Hmm? That can't be. this mm-hmm wow <laughs> hey <laughs> You need to stop this fixation with weapons. But you're the same way about food. Ah. Are you planning to stop that? Everyone walking the streets looks so calm and happy. I guess it really is true they don't treat Danans as slaves here. Did they actually somehow achieve equality here? And if they did, why? To what end? Something here doesn't feel right. Even though they sure want to act like it does. What is going through that Lord Dohalim's mind, I wonder? <sighs> Yes. Okay! Right! What are you gonna use the prize money for? What else? Eating until my stomach bursts. That sounds right up Sheon's alley.
finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. That's no ordinary enemy I see over there. Break yourselves! This one's tough! Again. There's always room for improvement. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Out of our way! You're mine! Dragon Swarm! I'll tear you up! You're mine! Raging Storm! 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 Raging Here I come! Take time! Blessing This ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you more than you want in that vein. Uh, yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? Not today! Try harder! My turn! You're human. To stop you dying? Ah, right. Do it! 
Not today! Dragonborn! Shortly to Alpha! You're mine! It's over! Mega Ray! Gemini Aqua! Double Demon Fang! Lightning! If it's in the sky, it's mine! This one's mine! Here I go! It's over! Lightning! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Knowing when we're in too deep is necessary to survive. We may tend to push ourselves a little too hard. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Hoodle, come here, sweetie. Hoo! Good boy. What are you doing? Uh, it's flying practice. Hoodle doesn't really like to leave my side, but if I don't make him spread those wings every now and then, they'll start to weaken. It's important he practices. Also, I'm pretty sure he put on some extra weight. Oh. Probably because everyone keeps sneaking him snacks when you're not looking. I knew it! I thought there was something fishy going on. Oh, it's really not good for birds to be overweight, you know? Oh, really? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Rinwell. You were feeding him too? You haven't been giving him anything he can't eat, have you? I'm pretty sure everything I've given him has been okay. Just to be sure, though, why don't you tell me what he can't eat? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Is something the matter? No, no, not at all. It's just, for a really long time, Hoodle was the only friend I had. So, on the one hand, it makes me really happy to see everyone be so accepting. But, on the other, it's a bit of an adjustment sharing him, you know? Every one of us can see that he's like family to you. I can promise no one's trying to ignore your feelings or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll talk to the others about it later. We should really get some rest. Another day, another gold. Friends, Hoodle? How's this? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey.
if someone's calling out for us, they could have something they need from us. What's wrong? Yeah! <laughs> ah! Oh. Huh? Hey! <laughs> Got it. Yeah! Huh? Hey! Why are we humoring this old man again? Because there's no way I'm passing up a top secret palace recipe, okay? Oh, there's a surprise. So these are the training grounds. The atmosphere here feels different. Compared to the rest. It's 
over! Damn it, Betty! One of your friends, Hoodle? I still can't believe I'm seeing Danins and Renins getting along. You never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renans. To what end? It would be an incredible amount of effort just to fool us. Let's check out more of the city. There's probably places we haven't seen yet. Danons are working in the quarry. Let's go check it out. So, do any of you know anything about Lord Dohalim? 
I think I remember hearing something back in Cislodan about how he fights using a rod. A rod? I don't know the details, but from what I gather, he swings a long rod around and uses it to stab and smack people from afar. I think there's also something he does with, like, trees or grass or something? I forget. Grass? Bear in mind that Elda Menencia harvests Earth astral energy. It would be no surprise for him to have some sort of control over plants. So basically the point is we know nothing about the guy. Wish we weren't going in completely blind. Stay sharp. We're going in. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, rest up and try not to strain yourself. I'll let the others know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody seems so happy working here. And it seems like the soldiers are there to actually protect them rather than keep an eye on them. I don't get it. How can it be like this? I presume you're Alfin, of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Just Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The Guard. Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon Guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin at Lord Dohalim's behest. He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Before you go, what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. Still, they already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. Hey, are you sure about going? What? That Kisara woman. She sounded pretty smug about serving Dohalim, didn't she? She still has a Renin for a boss. How is that any different from being a slave? Renin society is a meritocracy. To us, it's seen as natural that those who sit at the top rule over the rest. It's the same old wall as the rest of Dana at the end of the day. Just with a different coat of paint. I guess it can change people's attitudes if they can at least serve someone they respect. But they're still being deceived. It's obvious that's what's happening. On the one hand, her loyalty really did seem to be genuine. But on the other hand, Calaglia had its fair share of Danans who just accepted Ren and Rule because it was all they'd ever known. With that in mind, it can be hard to tell if her loyalty truly came about on its own. 
Or if it's just the result of years of subjugation. Who knows? It might clear some things up if we hear what Doholim has to say. Yeah, you're right. Let's make our way to the palace. get it. The Danans have endured years of suffering. How could they just turn around and trust the Renans all of a sudden? Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. But I guess they must have a pretty good reason, right? Like what? What could erase 300 years of pain and suffering? Maybe it's precisely because they suffered for so long that they see Dohalim as something of a savior. Hey, whose side are you on here, Alfin? Relax, Rinwell. All I'm saying is that we shouldn't jump to assumptions about these people until we know more about the situation. <laughs> I just don't get it. towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword. The liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still... Your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. Allow me.
me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, uh, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly. But on my own, even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people. The fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danins are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Danin coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elder Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. <laughs> Stop this! Please! It's over! Stop! It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. 
But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. Damn, look at how ritzy this place is. How many rooms do you think it's got? Don't you think you're being a little too relaxed? They could strike at any moment. If they were going to attack us, they would have done it already. So you're the blazing sword of Calaglia now, huh? Come to think of it, I remember Ganabelt calling you that, too. Yeah, you're getting to be pretty famous among the lords. Yeah, and that's not a good thing, either. What do you mean? That's something you should be proud of, if anything, Alfin. They're scared of you, man. You're a real badass. It's not as simple as that, Law. The more well-known he is, the more people might come after him. No, that's not what I'm worried about. It isn't? When people call me that, it feels like there's something hanging over me that shouldn't be there. It's hard to put into words, but it's something that doesn't feel like a part of me. Something I can't let be a part of me. Or else. Hmm. Well, I still think it's pretty amazing, but that's just me. really think we should trust accommodations from a Renan Lord? How do we know it's safe? Like we have any other choice. We can't go and set up camp outside of town at this hour. Honestly, I'd still take that over staying here. What if they try to kill us in our sleep? I doubt that's the case. His best chance to kill us would have been back at the palace. His true intentions aside, for now at least we're in his good books. Then we probably shouldn't test his patience. Let's find that in and check in. Interesting. All we ever got was a tattered blanket, a rock-hard bed, and well past its prime food. What are you talking about? What we got for our slave labor back in Calaglia. As you can tell, it wasn't much at all. Here, the Danans get the same basic amenities, but the quality is way better than anything we were given. Hell, apparently they even get time off to do what they want. If I'm being honest, I'm... I'm not sure how to take all this in. Could it be that things were simply harsher in Calaglia compared to everywhere else? It was the same in Cislodia, too. Our buildings and clothing were equipped to handle the cold, but that was the only difference. Working the floodlights was a form of punishment, 
so we didn't really get rewarded for anything that we did. Yeah, you could be assigned to fix food or make daily necessities too, but when all was said and done, most of that stuff went to the Renans. There wasn't much in the way of compensation for any of that, so I'd say that Cislodia and Calaglia were both pretty awful. An Elder Menencia really is unusual. To say the least. Hell, I might even go so far as to call it crazy. But the fact remains, Danans aren't free here. Yeah, no matter how happy they look, they're still slaves. I don't even know what to think right now. This is all way too much to deal with. It's giving me a headache. So that was Lord Dovalim, huh? He sure is something. Definitely not like the other lords we've met up until now. At first, he sounded like just some snobby royal. But he immediately shut down Xion's surprise attack. He's tougher than he looks. Definitely. After all, he's a lord for a reason. The food was pretty damn good, too. Why are you two complimenting him? You just said it yourself, Alfin. He's a Renan lord. Yeah, but he didn't act hostile towards us. You're reading him wrong. He's acting indifferent. He's attempting to keep some distance between himself and everyone else. It's obvious. What are we going to do then? Vicent seems to be legit peaceful. Are we just gonna do as he says and leave things be? I'm not entirely sure. For now, I think it would be best for us to rest at the inn and think about our options. Welcome, fair travelers. Lord Dohalim's retainer told us to expect you. It is an honor for you to stay with us. Please, make yourselves comfortable. This is better than I expected. Mm hmm? The room. It's nice. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. It is pretty nice. You okay, La? You're a million miles away. Nah, it's... weird. I felt strange ever since we arrived here. Can't seem to shake it. Maybe it's something about this place. You're just tired. I'm feeling pretty sluggish myself. You too? Seriously, you two? A word to the wise, our work here is far from over. Get yourselves together. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to call it a day. Let's meet back here tomorrow morning and see where things go from there. Sound good? Sure, but keep an eye out for anything strange, okay? We still don't know how safe this place really is. Are you two feeling any better? Yeah, a good night's sleep seems to have done the trick. I wonder why we felt so out of it. You think it might have been because of all the food we ate? 
You don't think they slipped something into our food, do you? That must be it. If they were making an attempt on our lives, we'd know it by now. Though, on the other hand, they could be warning us off. Come to think of it, you didn't eat anything at the meal, Rinwell. Aren't you starving? Oh, I made myself something later. You missed out. That was some mighty fancy grub they served yesterday. What? And give the enemy a chance to poison me too? Are you crazy? What's the big deal? Shion ate it too, remember? And we both tried the same stuff. Well, maybe they laced it with poison that's only harmful to Danins, hmm? That's enough, Rinwell. <laughs> Cat? Where'd it come from? There's something on its collar. Hold on a sec. I think it's trying to lead us somewhere. I'm gonna follow it. Th hey! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Stay close. We're gonna lose it. What's gotten into you, Law? This might be the lead we've been waiting for. Seriously? Yeah. Some people train animals to act as messengers. They don't attract attention, see? And you think that someone might be using that cat? To reach out and send us a message or something? I could be wrong, but it's possible. I'm impressed. I would never have thought of that. I should know. We used to use them in Cislodia. So, that black cat, do you think it works for someone? I'm sure it does. It wouldn't try to lead us around like that if somebody didn't train it to. I wouldn't know. I've never had one myself. If I did, it'd probably try to eat poor Hoodle. Huh. I wonder who they are, though. I doubt this is Dohalim's work. Yeah, he has no reason to do this. Although we can't rule out that it might be one of his lackeys, either. You think one of his subordinates is up to something? That Dohalim guy is a pretty unusual character for a Renan, let alone for a Lord. It's hard for me to imagine that they all agree with what he's doing. Maybe one of them plucked up the courage to go rogue. Well, let's head further in. I'd like to figure out at least one of the mysteries of this place. to lead us who knows we should hurry we don't want to lose it whoever came up with this is pretty damn clever yeah it just looks like an ordinary cute cat we lost sight of the cat after the chase it's led us on there's got to be something up ahead let's go farther in swung and missed, right? Not that part! Ah, 
I get that underground forests aren't exactly something you see every day, but I really could have done without any zoogles running around. You said it. I get the city up top surrounded by castle walls, but now I won't be able to sleep easy knowing they're lurking underneath. You have nothing to fear. Zoogles work for the Renans. There might be strays out here, but the other Zoogles won't let them get close. Using Zoogles to keep watch over their own kind, huh? That would explain why we're not seeing any guards. Yeah, which makes it that much easier for someone to hide around here, too. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, Shion. My foot slipped. Are you all right? I should be asking you. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you're okay. It's easy to forget sometimes. If anybody else had been in your place, they'd be howling right about now. Huh? Oh, right. You mean your thorns. Yeah, I'm... Uh, no worse for wear over here. Again, sorry for brushing you like that without warning. Well, just be careful. <sighs> hey, Alfin? Hmm? Forget it. It's nothing. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, oh, okay. What's with those two? weapon material when I see it. The reason the trees around here are so big is because of astral energy, right? It's possible, but give them enough time. Hi, Hoodle! <laughs> I know fine weapon material when I see it. I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. An opponent like this should be easy.
wish they were all that easy. Yeah, I think we might be getting too strong. Isn't that good? Play along, would you?
Consider yourself finished. See you Loser. continue on in now. Get toasty. Bird strike. We're in good form. Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. I guess we can take this? Everywhere you look, it's nothing but green, green, and more green. Just like Calaglia. Rocks, rocks, and more rocks. And Cislodia. Snow, snow, and more snow. Right, here it goes! Here I come! Into the wind! Right, right, you're mine! I'll take you all off! Be careful, everyone. This one isn't I'll normal. First oh, you. Don't mind if I do. You're finished. Win. Do it. Do it. it. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. See you can move on in that thing. Uh, now, yes, my lady. Something you want to say? Nice, Bob. Out of love. I'm here too, you know. We're thinning them out. Please, boy. This ends. Consider yourself finished. They've really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Hey, that looks pretty good. Yeah, there's more where that came from. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like these plants before. It's like they're an invasive species. Not that I'm surprised. Calaglia's all dry and Cislodia oh, is... What the hell? Is that a Zoogle? That thing is huge! Everyone, be careful! Ah, 
Why can't these dumb plants just keep to themselves? Less whining and more fighting, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Watch it. The enemy is over there. You're right, oh. husband, if you uh, hear it now! Yeah, it's 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 I'm sorry to be a bother. We yeah. all got enough. Take it close enough. Yes, ma'am. Try harder. Now. I'm Here I come. The Not today. Air thrust. You're my Healing There you go. Dance in the way. Here I come. I'm 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 I'll be saving you. You're finished. I'm all alone. Save you. Here I come. Try to get you. You're finished. Take this. You're finished! I'll finish you here and now! Here I come! Now I can let loose! Dragon Why don't you kill me? What are you leaving now? Stop! Sweet now! Here I come! Dragon Scout! I will yield you one! Dance in the way! I'll bring you back from the back! Dragon Scout! Dance in the way! Dragon Scout! Dance in the way! Everyone okay? I'm starting to get that it's a trap feeling again, guys. We'll just pray you're wrong. Hey, there's that cat. Looks like it's not done leading us yet. There's always room for improvement. Should we really be lighting a campfire in the middle of a forest? You scared of starting a fire? As long as we put it out thoroughly afterwards, we'll be fine. Really, it's a good thing to have a fire here. It'll keep the Zoogles away. Have you both forgotten what we've come out here to do? I'll let them relax, Shion. It's good to unwind every now and again. <laughs> that turned out good. If I do say so myself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Well, off we go.
This had better not all be for nothing. Somehow I doubt it'll be a wasted trip. Really? You know, for a guard, you're not too good at tailing people. Not to brag, but this kind of thing is my specialty. So it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just surprised you could do two things at once, Law. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Ah! <gasps> Looks like somebody needs to be put in their place. The one time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. What the hell? I thought you wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn, you know that? Not today! 
What's your deal, huh? Did Doalim put you up to this? You send us away and then come to finish us off? I don't buy it. <laughs> I wonder. We came here following a black cat. What reason could you have for tagging along? Certainly not as a spy. You think she might have business with whoever called us out here? And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. Am I wrong? Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. I'm the one who summoned you all here. Well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. You two know each other? Hello, brother. So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait, Kisara's your sister? Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us. Full of hope for the future of this realm. For both Danans and Renans alike. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Migal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny, just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphan children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes, Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. What the... is that... is that... metal? Not metal, but to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... nothing. Matter with no physical form, just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the hollowing. The hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, 
but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. Wh what? That can't... Miguel. When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state, one that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Law were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising, either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot. Just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change, now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. It was a shot in the dark. But fortunately, you recognized her for what she was, and Zare accomplished her mission with flying colors. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Dohalim may be a wonderful person, but in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next Lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith.
Right. Can't sleep? And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? Feels a little off, but ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. To do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe. And now you've healed me up, too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kinda hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <laughs> but more important than that... I guess... I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? But... <sighs> anyway, it's necessary so we can fulfill our promise, right? R right Glad you remember that much you okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. What 
am I doing? I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. Guess we're waiting on word from Magal for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Magal's news to reach. Oh, come on. We're not children. <sighs> How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? I know he said it's necessary, but... Are we sure Magal's plan is a good idea? I mean, just because we came expecting a fight doesn't mean we have to have one. If Magal is right about Dohalim, we may have no reason to fight. Dohali may have found a way to build a future where Danans and Renans can live alongside each other in peace. Yeah, I guess that may be true, but I'm still not sure about this. I just can't bring myself to trust a Renan. I really don't understand what's going through Magal's head. And as for him and Kisara... He said they were siblings, right? But things seem kind of awkward between them. I was an only child, so I never had to deal with that kind of stuff. Is their situation really that different from ours? That's... I mean, I guess not, but... The reality is that we don't know what's true and what isn't about Menencia yet. Until we know that for sure, let's not pass judgment one way or another, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fair enough, I guess. So, let me ask you something, Rinwell. Hoodle and Megal's cat are both animals native to Dana, right? Right. And Zoogles definitely aren't. Well, duh. Those things are too hideous to be from here. <coughs> Not that owls are any better. Hmm? <coughs> ah, ow! Ow! I take it back! I love owls! Owls are the best! I swear! Hoodle's pretty cute, I'll admit. But I've also been rather partial to cats, too. What about you, Xion? Huh? Who? Me? I... Uh... Well, I guess... I like them both. Hmm? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Either way, the more I think about it, I've never heard of anyone keeping Zoogles as pets. Is it because Renans only use them for practical purposes? Yeah, that could be the reason. They were originally created to serve as beasts of burden, so to speak. Hey, can you guys quit standing around and get him to leave me alone? I'm begging you! I hate camping out.
What's this thing? Amazing! No wonder the old man was so gung ho about it. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Shion? You've got sauce on your face. Good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet... Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Igal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? What makes you think I won't? Because Migal trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? Sorry, forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Migal's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Yeah. Looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night.
an opponent like this should be easy. You got Try spirit! I can only rely on 
something. Hold on. She's got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. It happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Well, this is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That depends on the Gala. Let's hurry to the quarry. 